Life is nearly back to normal for Johnny Logan College students now that reconstruction is nearly complete on their humanities building. That building was damaged by a fire back in August. News 3's Madeline Parker joins us live from the Johnny Logan College campus with a look at the remodel. Mark, the John A. Logan administration calls August's fire a freak accident, saying that it was due to an electrical wiring in incident. And most of the damage to the building was from layers of soot and the lingering smell of smoke. Now, but after months of work, there is only a few finishing touches that need to be done before students can return on Monday. August 12th was our first day of classes for the fall semester. Uh, and about noon on that day, uh, there was an arc fire in a mechanical room, uh, which caused um, smoke and soot damage through a, about over 100,000 square feet of our campus. After the fire, two college employees and two firefighters were taken to the hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. And the John A. Logan campus was forced to shut down for a few days. Luckily, administrators say there wasn't any fire damage to rooms outside of the mechanical room. Uh, everything else was just the strong smell of odor uh, that comes with a fire, burnt plastic, uh, wire, those type of things, uh, and then some soot damage. There was a film on, on a lot of the standing areas uh, in offices. Within 24 hours of the fire, a construction crew came in and began cleaning and replacing carpets, ceiling tiles, and repainting the walls. Now the humanities wing is almost ready to welcome students back for their in-person classes. After being entirely remote, for the fall semester. And the opportunity they have now to get back in that classroom, I know they're excited and I know our students are excited that they have that opportunity to get back in there. So we are, we're very pleased that it's gone at this pace. Administrators say COVID-19 and the fire tried to throw faculty and students alike off track, but both groups handled the transition well. However, they believe it is time to get things as back to normal as possible. So, uh, yeah, it's just been a full on team effort and we're, we're really excited and uh, we're glad to be moving forward. The campus is currently open, but classes are not scheduled to begin until Monday. The humanities wing is scheduled to be open by that time, but the student services section is still closed and under construction. Live in Carterville, Madeline Parker, News 3.